Hello my people, welcome back to OK Prime TV. Yeah, today's show was all about gossip. Yes, and before we continue, please, if you know you've not subscribed, kindly click on the red subscribe button, please. Click on the red subscribe. Anyways, let's come back to the show. Today's show was all about gossip and can ask everybody in the ass if they've gossiped or not. And then he said that yes, everybody has gossip Tasha also said that in one way or the other we all have gossiped and the Ebka went on to ask Diane if she had, what she had to say about gossip and Diane was like yes she owned it up to her shit that she has gossiped and she has had some city conversations with Messi and which she terms gossip because Messi is her close friend and she really want who she can confide in so when they now ask Jackie ah Jackie Afana, what do you think about gossip? Have you gossiped? Jack was like, I've never gossiped in the house. I've never gossiped in the house. I said, are you serious? No, for me, oh, are you serious? Said you've never gossiped. So all those things you are doing in the house, what are they called? So I was like, okay, no problem. Since you say you have not gossiped, I'm going to show you a clip of what you did in the house and you tell me if you've gossiped or not. My man, I said, okay, Gwanga, let's wait and see if she will agree today that she has gossiped. Then we can show the clip of she and uh, Kathy. She called Kathy. She said, hey, Kathy, come, let's gossip. And Kathy, like a baby, she jumped on top of the bed and started talking about the two million naira yash. <laughs> two million naira bought. Yeah, she knew why not to sign me. And she was still trying to like defend herself that she didn't say anything that she she was not the one. That it was the person she was talking to that tried to lure her into gossiping. And everybody was like, Ah, it's so obvious you gossiped and she was like, Okay, if it makes everyone feel better, I gossiped. I mean, are you kidding me? Seriously. If it makes everyone feel better, something that we all know. Anyways, let's forget this case matter. Then what Tasha was asked about what gossip it is, she defined gossip by saying gossip is an uncertain thing about some saying uncertain thing about someone. She gave an illustration using a martial art saying that if a martial art gets to win something and she goes behind him to tell others about it is not gossip, but if she starts saying otherwise, then it's gossip. And all this time she was talking, everybody kept quiet. Then Ibuka asked her about her relationship with Ike and if Ike has ever come to her to complain about Mercy. And she said she can't remember if anything like that has happened. And she turned to face Ike. She was like, Did you tell me anything about Mercy? Me, are you serious? This girl said, You have mine though. Ike didn't say that she didn't know. Then because are you serious? So I'm going to show you guys a clip. They showed them show the clip on the screen where Ike was telling Tasha what Messi has done and he was saying some nasty things about Tasha and um, Messi. Then later Ebu kinda asked that after the when the clip was showing can see that Messi's reaction has changed, his content, her content has changed. I was like, hmm, after this show today, I'll go through so I so that one on our own business. So, after that, Ebu can't say that he, will, that he was not asking Tasha about, no, before then, he was asking Messi that after the house, how does she feel about Tasha? And it case, uh, uh, Tasha and Ike's relationship. How she felt about it and she said that she felt that Ike and Tasha does on social media is to disrespect her and I she knows Ike and Tasha does business together but she isn't cool with it the way they come to social media to display about it. So it was like so it means that when they come to social media to display it means it as it, is it disrespectful to you and she said yeah, that it's disrespectful so I said Bukana asked uh, Ike what he was <coughs> excuse me, what he has to say about uh what a Messi has said and she replied and Ike reply was like you can't have an argument with a woman. Even if you are right, <laughs> you, you she will always win. That's true, my dear. You can't argue with a woman because she will pin you down with every evidence she has. And he went on to say that he's 
is with uh, is uh, having a business with Stasha and it's strictly on business stuff and they don't talk about any other aspects and he can remember that they've never talked and uh, said anything about them so he also said that if he and Sasha are out like this that Mrs. Swan will always misinterpret it and likewise every other asthma they will think of something else because they all know that Mercy and Sasha they are not in, in good terms so he can ask Sasha that what she, what she thinks as if she thinks is not disrespectful to Mercy by be friends with Iki and Tasha response was no comment. Ibuka was not like eh, in eh, in regards to what I'm asking you. I still insist and she said no comment. So they went on on a commercial break and came back then and Vala Shei, Tilma Fraud and uh, who else? Okay, just them. They joined and the issue of Shei and Tema came up. Excuse me. Where she was insulting Thomas' late brother back then in the years. I'm sure most of us can remember this. So if can ask them if she has forgiven she, she was like, it, it's 50-50. Because if I have not, we won't be sitting on the same, same chair. And then can ask her to explain what she meant by 50-50. So she said that she's a person who don't know how to keep crush and that way. They came out of the house. Now she was the first person she hugged, forgetting that they have personal beef. And she also explained everything that happened back in the house. But when Biggie gave them punishment, and uh, she was like, everybody should keep quiet so that he can concentrate on what he was doing. And uh, Mercy was with uh, dice. The dice fell from Mercy's and I rode towards her chair. So when Mercy was looking for it, she was like, ah, Mercy, see it here. Then Jackie now pick offense and say that keep quiet. She uh, she used to say that everybody should keep quiet and still talking. She was not like a beg. So she said that she maybe she thought she was the one who was distracting or making that noise. So he fled up. And he fled, um, fled up and he later hit. Uh, well, what is it? Take my later hit. She on the back with her palm. She was like, she been at this place. Is it this small hand that we hit She that would make pain him? So everybody was laughing. So she said that that was it. And after that scenario, it was when she came out of there, she saw a clip of uh, She telling Mercy and Ike about her late brother was insulting the late brother. It was that. So she said she got pissed. I remember I watched one of her interviews. She was insulting she that it would not be well with she for insulting her brother and so on and so forth. So she was like, so when they came out of the house, she hugged him, forgetting that they had an issue. She went on to say that the brother was not, it's not as if he died just like that. He was murdered. And anytime his matter comes up, it always affects her and the family emotionally. So if was not like, okay, I've uh, she apologized to you. She said no, he has not except me on uh, TV when he was interviewed and the way he apologized, he apologized in a very sarcastic way. And so if was now as if God had turned to she asked him, So why haven't you No before then? When Tama was talking, Mercy interrupted and said that, no, 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 no. And that day, the thing that happened that day, it was a Saturday night after the party. And uh, she, she was drunk. He was intoxicated. And that was why he acted that way. He didn't even know what he said. And that she was the one that was emphasizing on it. And that was why the thing went out of and. Sebuka was not like really. She said yes. she, later she said that hey, I'm not trying to support she, you, but that was what happened. I said okay, oh, no wala. Then Ebuka turned to she and said, Why haven't you apologized to Tina? She was not like hey, Tema said the things that will favor her, so it, it's now his turn to say the things that will also favor him. He started beating around the bush, saying all sorts of things that does not follow, and the, at the end of the day, we arrived at nothing. And they was like, okay. And I said, okay, if everything that I've said to you offended you, I'm sorry. That was how the, 
show came to an end and a clip pop up about tomorrow's own which is going to be about Messi and on much they were shouting at each other and titans and mercenaries were being mentioned and they can say something about Ike and Sasha being friends that was how the show ended though thank you guys for watching and please if you are yet to subscribe please click and click subscribe the red is scripted words there please click on it and subscribe to this channel thank you very much and bye for now good night